So now we have to face a certain problem. Let's say it's bullying within the school community, within a certain classroom. We already said in the previous video that storytale is a binding element. It reinforces the links between people and fights discrimination. So now we come to how to do it. Lots of traditional stories and lots of traditional storytellers have to fight bullying because it's something normal. It happens. It happens between chimpanzees, it happens between bonobos, it happens between uh, animals, it happens between humans. And we have to use civilization, art and culture to fight it. This is our way, the human species way. And my way and my grandmother's way and my community's way was storytelling. So I will propose you a traditional Greek story that many storytellers have told during centuries and in different dialects all over the Greek uh, world, which is not limited in uh, the, the Greek country. It goes in Far East, it goes in Italy, it goes all around Mediterranean. But the same motives, the same story, we can find it all over Europe, and we find it also in Middle East, till the Himalayas. How to work? We want groups. You should uh, form groups of three to five pupils, preferably with great differentiation. Boys and girls, rich and poor, strong and weak, those who are bullying someone and the victim. So try to have great diversity in the groups. You position the groups in different points in the classroom so as to have a certain autonomy. Autonomy is a key factor in uh, judging and we want now pupils to think for themselves, to judge, to be critical, and to express insecurity. They have to be secure from the other group. Within a group, with eye contact, it is difficult to have a bullying act. Masses and big groups produce and uh, tolerate bullying. So you have those little groups and you tell the story. And uh, you stop the story, you ask a question about the happenings. You ask the question in a way to reflect their own life, not directly. Try to be subtle. You know the persons, you know the pupils, you know the boys and girls. So you have to make small hints, not be too personal, not to be too far away from them. So, for example, think about what happened in the story. Do you know any story, life story, that a similar occurrence happened? Have you heard such a real story? Somebody who acted like this or said uh, something like this or uh, someone who looks like uh, one hero of the story or the other. So this will uh, luckily create a circle of uh, discussion. Try to encourage everyone to speak. This should be a rule. Everybody should express himself. Try not to push, but 
try to encourage. So when everybody in the group discusses, they have to have one answer, one common answer, and one person each time different will produce and will present their answer, their little story, to the others. And the story goes on and goes on, and then the dragon appears. And you ask, now we stop, and I ask you, do you think uh, that the dragon is good or bad? Do you think that the dragon will speak or act? Do you have encounter in your personal life or in your school life a person who is violent like the dragon. So you, by little hints, you reach your goal. You end the story after three and four, maximum five stops and questions. You are free to decide them and use different stories. And you let uh, something like five or ten minutes for a general discussion, and then you close the matter. You don't open it. You close it and you let it simmer as if it's a nice food you prepare, a goulash, uh, a nice stew, because now they are shimmering and they will go out with all those ideas and all those images and all those stories and they will discuss them. They will bring the stories into their family, in the family table, into their own friends and community and you will see emerging different ideas and different attitudes. Uh, have faith in storytelling, prepare yourself, be very good, be excellent, love your story, and then trust it that it will produce immediate, immediate effects. Sometimes you have a diagnosis. I mean, persons who are victims of bullying and you ignore that, Usually we ignore that. Find the courage to tell somebody else about their problem, about their suffering. And maybe friends of a person who has a bullying attitude or is violent or is... Uh, uh, evasive and pervasive uh, will uh, tell him uh, be more calm don't be a dragon I hope that you will enjoy the nice stew that the storyteller has prepared for you